I'm John Hanna for CDTV.net, and we have Terry Rikowski, a GM executive who is also a Michigan Tech alumnus. Now, Terry, what is your position with GM? Hi, John. I'm the executive director of the North American Vehicle Chief Engineers, and I'm also uh, the global vehicle chief engineer for General Motors full-size trucks. Great. Now, um, tell us about this free retraining in advanced propulsion technologies that's being um, offered right now at Michigan Technology. Uh, yes, it's a, it's a great opportunity here. Uh, what we did, have done is uh, we formed what we call a trilateral partnership. Um, we formed a partnership between uh, Michigan Technological University, the Engineering Society of Detroit, and General Motors. And uh, uh, what each uh, of these uh, partners brings to the table is what they, they uh, unique resources that they have. And we're uh, collaborating so that we might... Uh, you know, really try to make an impact here in, in Michigan and Southeast Michigan, uh, in our economy and uh, and in our industry, by offering this training. Now, how did this training come about? <laughs> well, it's interesting. I was uh, uh, driving to work and you know listening to the news, and the news hasn't been all that upbeat lately. And you know, you just hear about all the problems, and uh, and you hear about all the engineers, uh, you know, who are being uh, displaced. And, uh, and exited from companies, and indeed that's true, um, uh, on the order of several thousand of them. And uh, you know what, what isn't known is that even though uh, there have been an exit, there have also been hires uh, last year. We we actually hired about 250 engineers, and um, we had to hire them in the critical areas that we're talking about here: uh, these green jobs, this uh, advanced propulsion um, systems calibration work, powertrain calibration work. It's, uh, it's really a, a, the, the new front, frontier on the auto industry, and uh, it's a, a very um, vital uh, skill set and a very rare one. So though we've been able to, um, uh, you know, hire some, you can see that in the, uh, in the growth of the industry, and especially when the industry gets back uh, on its uh, solid legs, uh, this will be a, uh, a critical growth area. And so really driving down the road, I just thought, man, we, we, we want to be part of the solution, not just part of the problem here. We want to be able to, you know, really have an impact uh, on our community and on our industry. And so I started to uh, uh, dream about that and how can we do that. And I have a, a really good relationship uh, up with the uh, staff at Michigan Tech from uh, you know, President Ross through uh, uh, Tim Schultz, the dean, through the uh, department heads. And um, so I, I called uh, Tim Schultz and said, hey, Tim, what would you think if we were to put some training together? Because they have one uh, professor there who's uh, really kind of come from this industry, and Jeff Neighbor, and he came to mind. I said, what if we were to offer this kind of training here and, and let people who have been displaced, uh, you know, retool themselves in this area? And and right away, you know, he was in. He uh, bounced it off to the staff, and, and they were in. Well, I'm also on the board of directors of the Engineering Society of Detroit, and uh, and we had a board meeting, and you know, I said, hey, we've got this uh, partnership forming up, and and this is also a role that the Engineering Society of Detroit wants to play. You know, they want to uh, be part of the solution, of course, and um, and uh, you know, offer these types of uh, uh, engineering opportunities and training, and so uh, we formed this partnership where essentially Michigan Tech would offer the training, the, the, the lectures uh, through their professors uh, in these advanced um, propulsion uh, systems design and calibration. Engineering Society Detroit would offer, uh, we have a brand new headquarters in Southfield, Michigan with a great training facility so that they would offer the training facility and all their uh, administration and networking and communications. And then General Motors would offer the, the hands-on piece. This kind of training is, uh, you get so much from, uh, you know, uh, book material and, and uh, you know, through the computer, then you ultimately have to get with the vehicle and work with it and uh, refine it, you know, to understand it. And so General Motors uh, can bring that laboratory experience, that hand-on experience. and. Uh, as we, we worked it, uh, we were able to, to pull this together. Now, we, you know, on an average American driver, what does advanced propul propulsion technology mean to our cars in the future 
or a couple of years from now? <laughs> well, it's uh, it's absolutely vital. You know, the cars of the of the last 100 years have been primarily uh, gasoline powered engines, and they've been uh, controlled with uh, separate mechanical systems. In other words, the steering system was just a kind of a standalone mechanical system. The brake system was that way. Um, you know, the powertrain system, the body, all this. Well, in the future, um, that's going to—that's changing. It's changing as we speak, and it will definitely continue to change. To where the primary um, uh, prime mover, the primary mode of transportation, will be more electric. And uh, all these systems that I referenced will now be integrated and electronically controlled. And all of a sudden, uh, what used to be just uh, foundation brakes, just the, the typical uh, brake engineering, all of a sudden now, as you go in and, and you refine the performance of a brake system, you realize um, this is affecting a fuel economy. For instance, in a hybrid today, when you apply the brakes uh, on, on certain types of uh, hybrids, Actually, there aren't uh, brake linings and pads uh, rubbing against rotors and drums. Instead, what's happening is you are turning a motor, and that motor is generating electricity, and that electricity is going and recharging those batteries in the vehicle. So you're actually using this, uh, this electric motor to stop. And you now, how to control that and make that, because the customer doesn't care. They just want to stop, and they want it to stop like it's always stopped and be safe and secure and, and all those types of things. So these systems are becoming very much uh, very integral and very uh, integrated with each other. And again, that's why these types of uh, engineers who can, uh, who can work these uh, interfaces and these control systems, uh, they just kind of have an awful lot of work to do. The the class that you guys have, or the uh, Michigan Technology have, the mm -hmm. Advanced Propulsion Technology, that's pretty much going to be covering a lot more of the alternative energy for automobile as well. Oh yes, yes, it'll talk about you know uh, uh, basic because uh, yeah, a lot of the, the people will be coming in will be not from the powertrain you know um, part of our business, uh, so you know there'll be some. Um, powertrain uh, classes to make sure they understand how, how engines work and, and, you know, the basic theory there. Uh, but then they'll get into the, uh, the hybrids, the advanced propulsion pieces of these, and the different types of hybrids, you know, there's difference between um, parallel hybrids and series hybrids and mild hybrids and strong hybrids and all these uh, types of things and fuel cells, uh, as well as some alternate fuels such as uh, uh, compressed natural gas and diesel and, and that type of thing. It's good that, you know, people like yourself are actually putting this thing together so that way that we can actually expand on the number of brains or, or, or talent that I can actually might be able to develop something new tomorrow. Well, absolutely. I mean, if you think about it, you know, there's, there's engineers that they've devoted a large part of their life and their career, uh, you know, to our industry, to our companies, uh, to this uh, local economy. And, and they love it here, and they want to live here, and their friends are here, and their families are here. And, um, you know, many of them, unfortunately, have uh, lost their jobs. And uh, some of them are on, um, you know, have been given a severance package of some sort, and they have to find a new job or, or leave and go someplace where jobs uh, perhaps are more plentiful. Well, you know, I want to be able to give them an opportunity to get back into the industry that they love, to get back into the companies that they, uh, they want to work for. And, uh, and to live in this, uh, in this community and to be, you know, productive, valuable members uh, of our industry and of our community. So here's an opportunity to get back into the, uh, the workforce that they left, but in an uh, in a area where uh, growth has, uh, has very high potential. Awesome. Great. Terry Rikoski of GM and also Michigan Technology alumni.